the modern road ends at the busy fishing port of Malig, where one must set sail for the islands, for sky. But let us spare a moment to the bustle and activity of this village at the end of the road, where the rich hall is brought in by men who have spent a lifetime fighting the sea in their little boats. The bark, who will in the put in love on me? Ay, ay, and there they are, the mystic mountains in a mystic isle. But the steamer awaits. The real road to the isles is about to begin. Over the sea to sky. <laughs> as we steam past. And finally, into the inlet on which poor tree, principal town of Skye, stands. Here in poor tree, you will be asked if you have the garlic, to which my reply would be, Jan Yale. For the garlic traditions and music are kept alive in the Western Isles. Gaelic songs are sung as the age-old craft of tweed making is practiced. <laughs> is almost a necessity for living in sky. It blends so perfectly on the one hand with the simplicity of life and on the other with the mysterious awe-inspiring columns where climbers risk death to reach hypnotic summits. It blends so perfectly with the fairy atmosphere of Dunvegan Castle, the oldest inhabited castle in Scotland, where Flora Mrs. MacLeod of MacLeod lives, and where the clan gathers from all over the world during Sky Week. Many other traditions and mysteries of Dunvegan Castle, and indeed of the whole of Sky. Many old customs survive in Scotland, like the uh, Tartubale, or mouth music. Tartubale is a Hebridean tradition. In the old days when a Cayley or a musical evening was held, and no instrument was available, the dancing was to mouth music. Garlic words giving the music and rhythm for the dance. <laughs> But there is one last pilgrimage we must make over the island's appalling roads. A pilgrimage to the end of the Bonnie Prince Charlie saga. The grave of the girl who risked her life to get her prince to safety. Perhaps this, of all places, is where we should finish our road to the Isles. For it is where Prince Charles finished, and Flora MacDonald finished, 
and to thousands of Scotsmen, it is where they too would like to finish, on a sky hillside looking over towards the outer islands, the blue islands of the Hebrides. Yeah. 